Okay, I'm pretty sure my lip is still bleeding, so just ignore that for a minute. My skin on my lips is so fucking dry, but I hate not having... Anyway, so we're going to crack open a beer. I literally got ready so fast because I, first of all, never really have anything to talk about in general, but this has like been freaking me the fuck out. I've been so stressed since yesterday, and it's really weird. It's funny because I mentioned something i don't think i uploaded it again i'm so backed up on videos that i just i do and i don't upload because i talk about the same things but i even said that i was nervous um and i worked yesterday yesterday was saturday i said i was nervous because i could just feel like something was fucked up so friday night um it was crazy fucking busy like i did not expect that at all and normally on um okay so i'm like a cocktail waitress basically but my two of my managers that are both female they usually they cocktail waitresses can't use the register and can't go behind the bar they both don't care if i um handle cash or credit cards or so they didn't before but friday was crazy crazy busy now it sucks because there's two bartenders and then there's just me i was probably taking care of at least 100 people on the floor getting them food and getting them drinks so if normally if you want a cocktail you go up you tell the bartender what you want and then they, you take it to the floor Okay, well, I'm just really fast. I can grab beers really fast. People were ordering buckets of beer. If somebody gets like a vodka tonic rail, it's right there. I don't have to even go behind the bar. It's right at my station. Um, so I think in that sense, it wasn't a big deal. It does get really clusterfucky whenever there's two bartenders and it's a very narrow bar. It's not big. So, you know, oh, coming through, coming through, you know what I mean? Um, it, it gets wild so I just felt bad because um my one manner I mean there's cameras everywhere so a lot of the times he's not there but he's watching cameras I mean obviously just I don't know that's what you do in a business I suppose you watch fucking cameras so I don't know if he was there watching cameras but then my one manager the woman manager kind of yelled at me across the bar she goes hey um didn't say it in a mean way at all she was just like hey look it's it's too busy for this if you need a if you need a drink tell them and they'll make it for you and um, I guess the man manager called her and snapped on her because I was behind the bar and I felt like an asshole about it. And I found out uh, there's just a lot going down and it's legit stressing me the fuck out. Like I'm literally concerned that I'm going to get fired and I just never, I swear to God, like what is this luck? Anyway, so I come in Saturday and the bartender, one of the other ladies I work with, I told you guys before, she was like friends with my mom before um, in high school Love her to death. Uh, so she was like, oh my God, it was like such a clusterfuck. Uh, So-and-so got bitched out by the manager. And I'm just like, oh my God, I feel like shit. Like, I'm so sorry. I just, my reasoning was because obviously if it's packed and I have to have the bartender grabbing me stuff, they're not, I'm getting bitched out on the floor because drinks are taking so long. That's why I took the initiative and kept grabbing them. I mean, I asked for a Bloody Mary from the bartender and it literally... After 15 minutes, I still didn't have it. And I asked her and she goes, fuck, I get it. Things get hectic because you're also doing your job. But it's like, I'm also getting bitched out because people are getting their drinks, right? So it was a mess. I had a couple walk out and it wasn't like they, it wasn't like a dine and dash situation. I had a, two humongous parties in the back of the, the area. And I was just pretty much putting all their food and drinks like together. I really didn't have time to separate until they came up to get their checks and I could be like, okay, so you had the fish dinner and you had the grilled chicken wrap and you had four Bud Lights. and You know what I mean? Like, I remember what people were drinking. I just have to put it together to get their checks out. So as couples are leaving, um, they're, you know, telling me what they had. I'm giving them their checks. So then it's dwindling down and I only have, um, it was, I, I said this in a video before, uh, but I don't think I uploaded it yet. I said they had like two appetizers, a grilled chicken wrap, two Bud Lights, and two rum and diets. But it added up to $28. Now, normally, if somebody walks out and it's just like a tea or a soda that's 3 bucks, I take it out of my tips because I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it to tell the manager something, whatever. It's something so minuscule. Like, it's still annoying because I work for that money, but still. So $28, I'm sorry. I didn't make enough money that night to just shell out that for people to, like, forget. And the thing was, not, nobody was really a regular that night. So I couldn't have been like, oh, this was so-and-so. Because honestly, it's a lot of old folks at this bar. Sometimes they leave and whenever they come back, they're like, oh, fuck. Like, and then they pay their tab. I I don't know. So also, until all my tickets are cleared out and paid for, I can't clock out. So I went to the bartender. I gave her the receipt of the last one. I said, hey, look, 
this is the only one I have left. I can't clock out. I'm not sure what to do. Do you want to try and text the manager and let them know the situation? Because I, I told her, you know, don't delete it. it. Not that I don't even know if it really matters, but I said, keep the ticket, you know, like circle it, leave a note. I, I felt like an asshole. Cause I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, this doesn't normally happen for me, but whatever. So the thing that pissed me off was, is because I think everybody knows if you have a register, normally you have to put in your own numbers to log into your register, right? At any job, I've, I've always had that. I mean, I guess I'm stupid because I don't, maybe you're not supposed to give out your number. I mean, I know I shouldn't do that. I'm dumb. But sometimes if you're in a rush and maybe I'm really busy bringing out food and somebody comes up to pay their ticket with the bartender, you know, somebody will be like, hey, what's your number? I'll cash them out for you. You know what I mean? Just because it, it gets hectic and it gets busy. I got pissed because I was cleaning off my tables and the bartender, I had asked her, I said, oh, hey, so what did the manager say? She goes, oh, she didn't say anything back. So I just took it off and I clocked you out. I was like, I'm still working. I'm still cleaning. Like, what do you mean you clocked me out? Like, I, you know how, like, and if it was flipped away, I would have gotten snapped on by this woman. Like, that's not cool. And I'm just so fucking passive. But I was telling that to um, the lady I worked with yesterday. I was like, she said the manager was pissed about the walkout and the receipt. And I was like, all I knew what to do was keep the receipt as proof. Like, this is what it was. I'm not lying. Grab the ticket that was the food was made for. I didn't take the food. I didn't, I don't drink wrong. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, I know that I didn't like, why would I purposely do that? I don't, whatever. But then she was talking about the register and she goes, hey, look, you know, so-and-so, the other manager, I know I'm all over the place. She's like, she doesn't care if you still run your own credit cards, but... Um, I guess just not cash and I go was the drawer messed up and she shook her head yes and I'm like so fucking pissed off because I just don't understand like I don't know how to explain it because I always thought the reasoning for having your own specific number was if something like that does happen they can pinpoint who it was but if somebody has somebody else's number and they're signing on as you or vice versa I'm so weird about handling cash at a job. I swear that's why I don't ever want to work at a bank because I would never want that shit on my head. I have not, I've worked at two jobs where people have physically been handcuffed and taken out of the, esta the establishment, bitch, who am I? But out of the place for stealing money, I just don't know how stupid you can possibly be to go to your place of work. Like I would be so, that's a ball, balls. I mean, there is no way in hell and that's what pisses me off because never, not once, not once has either managers ever came to me like the, the manager that counts the drawers every day has never said a word to me about the drawer being off under my name ever. So, or if it's me, like, I don't know. So it's like, it makes me want to cry because even whenever I, so as a waitress, you know, if you get a lot of ones, you want to interchange them into bigger bills. I know that there's a camera pointing right at the register. So I will literally be like one, two, three, four. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm not stealing money. So... I don't even, and if anybody's next to me, I'm just like, count this for me, you know, like whatever. Every time I get my credit cards, I count it at least three times. I add up them again to make sure that's the correct amount. I've said before that I'm, I get so nervous about like taking my own credit cards sometimes. My manager's come to me before and was like, you didn't take all the money from your credit cards last night. Like you missed 15 bucks here. Like I owe you money. And I was just like, I, I literally, it pisses me off because the past couple months have been so fun and like whatever at this job. And I, it, it's, it's kind of the moment, like after you're there, I've been up there for almost a year, but it kind of like once you're there for six months, everything just kind of flows together. You start becoming friends with everybody. And now I'm just like, dude, I hate it because I know the shit that people talk behind everybody's back there because I'm a lot, I'm the person that most people come and talk the shit to. And I also know that if somebody thinks somebody's doing something shady, they don't say it to their face. They don't say anything to their face. The lady that quit, let, got let go that I would always bitch about on Fridays I mean, I already pretty much knew what she was doing, but even so, it's like she didn't really get fired and everybody would talk shit about her behind her back. Like, she was a really crappy worker and all that, but it's like if people thought anything about her stealing money or if anything was shady, nobody said shit. They would smile in her face and be like, hey, girlfriend. So I get keeping the peace at work, but that shit terrifies me because I was talking to the other bartender, the, the sweetheart. She's only been there for a couple months. I love her to death. And I was just like, dude, Pretty much, I think the girl, the lady that I worked with yesterday said the manager's giving us all new numbers. It's a big cluster fuck. Like, it really is. And I, 
I'm just like nervous because I don't like being put in any type of position like that. I'm like, watch the cameras. Like, I don't, somebody stand next to me. Honestly, and it pisses me off because I felt so good having that freedom and that trust to be able to do my own register and cash out my own tickets. I mean, I don't really like to like, when I go to work, I go to work. You know what I mean? So that's, that's a good thing about me. Like, I don't fuck around or whatever. But even like, it made me feel good whenever both my managers, I would come in and every per every new person, um, the girl that, the, it's my mom's friend, the older lady, she would be like, she would point at me and be like, that's the only girl that I trust with my register. And it makes you feel good because obviously, you know, like you're not going to fuck around. Like there many people don't get to do that. But, and then my other manager, like my hired, the bar manager was just like, every time I'd walk in, she'd be like, well, you know, so-and-so's here. I'm good. Like. She's like the best worker and all, and I'm just like that it makes you feel good but now I'm just like damn. I'm just I'm a, I'm a really really fucking sensitive like but I've said before um probably in a video I didn't upload it's literally like walking out of Walmart knowing you didn't steal anything but going through a sensor it still makes you like cringe you're just like fuck like you know you didn't do anything but I don't know I and like with everything going on right now I'm just so fucking stressed and I'm like, this is exactly what I need. Something to deter me, like something to like jeopardize my fucking job. And that's what I hate. And I'm so bad with like confrontation because, and it's, it's really weird to like pinpoint if somebody is stealing money because we are in and out of the register. But like I said, I don't, nothing that I've ever, like when I check out somebody's ticket Everything should add up and be there. So I, I just really, I don't know. It sketches me the fuck out. I'm supposed to go up and like, yeah, it sucks. Because tomorrow we get our check. So and Matt's off work tomorrow. So we, I was going to go up and get my check, obviously, because I need to pay fucking bills and we need groceries. But now I'm like terrified to even go do that. Like, I, I don't want to. It just makes me really fucking sad. Because like, as soon as you just get like real comfortable and whatever. I don't know. And it just makes you feel like shit, especially whenever you had these people that like had that trust in you and made you, I mean, I would feel so good. Like, I don't know. I, I, growing up, I always was called like, oh, you're a fucking teacher's pet or whatever. I'm just like, because I just probably so I don't kiss anybody's ass at work, but I do my work. Like you're not gonna, I don't stop moving. I don't take a break. I don't sit the fuck down. Like, first of all, just because it makes the time go by faster, but cause what are you going to do? But sometimes I do get, like, jealous because the new bartender, like, as soon as she started working, and I, it's just because I'm not outgoing and, like, super bubbly. I am just, like, quiet, and I probably do seem really offstandish, and I get that. But, like, they'll be behind the bar, like, taking selfies together, doing funny Snapchats, and I'm literally just standing off to the side, like, staring at the menus. You know what I mean? It just makes you feel like crap. I, and again, I've always felt that way. I've always felt like I just don't really fit in. I feel stupid as fuck, like... She'll come over every once in a while and we'll laugh about something, but I just feel really dumb. I feel like such an unlikable person, but it's just my personality. Like once I know you, like I'm really goofy and stuff, but I just don't like it. I don't like in me and like, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I'm just really nervous. I don't want to go up to get my check. I don't want to be like, I don't know. I'm just sketched out. Don't like it. Mm -mm, not a single bit but me and Marietta are supposed to go out I'm hoping to get Mexican food and then I forgot it's Sunday well it's only about to be six o'clock I fucking love when it gets dark early as fuck I don't know about y'all but I fucking love the darkness um I think we're gonna go get Mexican food and I guess we'll see what happens but I love you guys very much and I'll see you next video